Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So where do I start with this video now? Rockstar, I think, with this latest update is literally trying to destroy their game. And what do I mean by this? You guys remember a few days ago when I made that rant about when Rockstar announced that they were actually removing the streaks for daily challenges. They were removing them past 28 days. So when you when you got past 21 days, you would have 0.50 gold per challenge. And then at 28 days, you'd have a treasure map. And then past that, it would be 0.50 gold per challenge. A lot of people liked that. It was a great way to make gold. The issue with that is that the, the streaks, they've been reset like a lot of us thought they would be, but they did something really unexpected. Something that I didn't even see coming on this. And what do I mean by this? They have essentially cut all daily challenges in half now. So look at this, 0 0.15 gold. And let me show you guys, I'm on a 13 day streak right now. I'm on a 13 day streak. I should be making 0 0.30 gold per challenge. Yesterday, I was making 0. I was making 0 0.30 gold per challenge, now I'm making 0 0.15 gold per challenge. And if I didn't have this streak, do you know what I'd be making? I'd be making 0 0.10 gold per challenge, which is literally the amount that you were making when the, um, when the daily challenges first came out, well over a year and a half ago. So when they first came out, you know, February of, um, of 2019, so at this point, you know, almost two years, you know, one, two more months, and it'll be two years ago, we were making 0 0.10 gold per challenge. And it looks like we're back to that again. So we've we've done daily challenges for so long, and we've had these nice streaks that Rockstar put in, and I thought they were really good ideas, but now they've essentially cut the amount that you can make in half. And look at this, it gets even worse, guys. Because if you go right here to challenge goals, you'll see that even the bonus has been cut in half. So for, for the 0 0.30 streak, because on the first week, you should be getting 0 0.90 gold back but instead it's cut to 0 0.45 gold. So now, you know, Rockstar, with doing this, resetting the streaks at 28 days, and now cutting, making it in half on how much you can actually make, they're hoping that more people are going to buy gold bars with this, but this is going to backfire really badly on them. Because a lot of people are going to stop playing the game now because of this. A lot of people that were really big fans of this game, really hardcore players, you know, did a lot of daily challenges. For some people, the daily challenges were, were, were like one of the few things that they logged in for every day. And wouldn't you want that player coming back to your game every day? But now they're doing BS like this. It's just stupid. But guys, it gets even worse. Let me show you. So this is the new Outlaw Pass. And I'm going to end up buying this just to show you guys what I think of this. So I'm buying this with gold that I made through, um, through the game. I didn't buy any of these gold bars. So look at this. Progress through all 100 ranks of the Outlaw Pass number 4 to unlock the following rewards. 30 gold bars. Cold weather clothing, okay, we're going to ignore all of that there, but it says 30 gold bars. Notice how much the Outlaw Pass is. The Outlaw Pass is 40 gold. This is the first Outlaw Pass besides the Halloween Pass, because the Halloween Pass I kind of saw it as a cosmetic one. This is the first official Outlaw Pass where you buy it with less gold than it's worth. So whenever you bought an Outlaw Pass in the past, you would get the gold back. So if you would be spending 40 gold, you would get 40 gold back with the Outlaw Pass. You get 30 gold instead here. So you're missing out on 10 gold, if you, even if you complete it all the way. And if you look at Rockstar's Newswire, if you purchase the Outlaw Pass within the first 72 hours of this update, you will get 10 gold back in a rebate. So you can technically get back all 40 gold. But the way that the Newswire is framing this, they're making it seem like you're getting a bonus 10 gold when you're not. You're just basically getting the amount that you, you originally paid for back. So if if there's a bunch of players, let's say there's a lot of players that, you know, they don't have time to play Reddit Online this week, and, you know, they finally hop on, you know, at the end of the week, and they buy the Outlaw Pass, they're only going to get 30 gold bo back. They're not going to get the full 40 gold back. But guys, it gets even worse, even worse, and you're probably asking yourself, how, how, how bad more can it get? Look at this. Now... I made a video on Saturday, the top five things the Bounty Hunter expansion should and shouldn't do. And in that video, I said this point. Let's play the video right now. Now, the other thing is the Bounty Hunter license. Since this is going to be a Bounty Hunter expansion, let's hope they don't make us buy the Bounty Hunter license again, because it was 15 gold. 
when we purchased it the first time, and that was in September of 2019 with the Frontiers Pursuits. So if they add a Bounty Hunter expansion, we're already Bounty Hunters, there should be no reason why we should have to buy something again. And if they make this 25 gold, like, you know, the last two rolls that we've had, Moonshiner and Naturalist, I think some people are going to be pissed off, considering that they've already had the Bounty Hunter license. So as you guys heard right there, I said that I really hope they don't make us buy the license again. And a lot of people were saying, oh, they're probably not going to make us buy the license again. Well, guess what? They're making us buy the license again. So even though this is, this is not even a new role, all this is is an, an expansion of a current role. It's an expansion of the Bounty Hunter role. You now have to buy the original Bounty Hunter license for 15 gold. And you have to buy the prestigious Bounty Hunter license. And yes, I get it that there's a discount for new players right now. But at the same time, is why are we being forced to buy this again? So let me get this straight, Rockstar. You're not giving us the same amount back for the for the Outlaw Pass. You've cut our daily challenges in half and limited our streaks. And now you're telling us to buy the Bounty Hunter license again a second a second time. <sighs> Disgusting. So let me buy it right here. I'll show you guys what happens. Okay, so right there, I bought the um, the Bounty Hunter license, and uh, does the new Bounty Hunter license do anything new? Let's check it. So how the new Bounty targets work is they appear to be on the hard section, and apparently every town and region has specific targets that are unique to them. We also have the legendary targets, but these new, you know, hard targets that are in free mode, they appear to be part of a group, but when you start up the Bounty mission, you're only going to be going after one of them. And then when you capture one of them, you'll bring them back to the board and you'll see the X like right here that I'm seeing on the board. And I'm assuming that if you capture all three of them, that there is some kind of bonus and there's a cooldown apparently. So I'm assuming the cooldown is probably one in-game day. But when I get it, when I get all three of these targets, I'll do some guides on this talk, breaking this down more. But that's at least what I think. When you capture all three of them, you get some kind of bonus. Apparently, according to the newswire, we are going to be able to convert roll xp into gold but i don't expect to get much from it i'll cover that once i get up to level 30 but from what i've seen so far i'm just really disappointed in rockstar not with the content of the update because you know i wasn't expecting something large but i am this disapp really disappointed in just what they've done with the gold bars you know what they've done with the outlaw pass what they've done with the daily challenge cap I'm, I'm, that fact that we have to buy the, the license again, I mean, come on, Rockstar, people used to love the daily challenges so much, and now you've really ruined them. The other thing that we have in this, um, update is we have the new legendary bounties, and these legendary bounties, you know, I actually like them. I liked them originally one year ago, and this first legendary bounty that we got was pretty interesting. You had a bank robber that likes to dress nice, had a ton of hired guns, and I captured him outside Shady Bell. When I get up to 5 star with this, I'll make a guide on how to capture this guy and how to capture each bounty target. So I'm assuming that every Tuesday we'll get a new, brand new mission, which I'm excited for. That's probably one thing that I am looking forward to in the future, but, you know, as for the other things, not really happy at the moment. And as for looking through the Bounty Hunter, you know, there are some new abilities, like right down here that we have, but other than that, there's nothing really that much new to it. You know, we get customization on our Bounty Wagon. Oh, yes, that's, of course, that's what everybody wanted is, you know, customize their Bounty Wagon. But there's nothing really new with this, and I'm kind of pissed off with this. But let me know what you guys think down below. I'm just so disappointed in Rockstar, and if you agree with me, and you... You agree that this needs to be reversed, That you, especially the daily challenges. Drop a like on this video. Let's see if we can get up to 2,000 likes of this video. And uh, put this on Rockstar's feedback page. I'll put the link down below. Maybe Rockstar will change something. We'll have to see. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. And if you're new to my channel, you might subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone.